and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know already, right now I am in St. Petersburg, Florida, and this is where I was born and raised, and I am here visiting my family, and also I am getting surgery tomorrow. And I was kind of iffy wanting to share this with everybody, but after thinking about it and talking about it with my boyfriend and my family, I thought it'd be a really good idea to share my journey with everyone and vlog and just, just share it. And I am getting a breast augmentation. So that's the surgery I'm getting. And yes, I am very nervous. I am one day out. My surgery is tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. and I am going under anesthesia. So I'm super scared. I have never been under anesthesia before. I have never even had a surgery, like a major surgery before. So I am nervous for sure, but I know I'm gonna be under really good hands. My mom is here and she is gonna be taking care of me and giving me my medicine and just really helping me out through the, my week of recovery. Um, but yeah, I just thought it would be a really good idea to just share everything that I am going through, share the process and everything with everyone because I know a lot of girls like these types of videos, so I thought why not, why not vlog my experience. So last December when I was here in Florida, I actually had my consultation with my doctor and we went over everything. We went over what he was wanting to do to me and um, the pricing and everything like that. And I just really trust him. I liked everything he had to say. Um, the surgery that I'm getting is it's going to be um, submuscular so it's going to be over my muscle it's not going to be under I know a lot of people get underneath the muscle um, especially people who work out I don't know I see a lot of people getting it underneath the muscle so after talking to my doctor and discussing um, that I get super lean for competitions and that um, I compete in the bikini division and I work out and I train really really hard um, he thought that the best thing for me would be over the muscle and he's putting it over the muscle because he knows that I really like to work out and deadlift and squat and he doesn't want me to have any setbacks with my training. Sometimes when it goes underneath the muscle, it's a pretty invasive surgery and I still want to be able to run and I still want to be able to work out my chest and everything like that so he thought the best way for me to go is go over my muscle my doctor also said that i have a lot of breast tissue so when he was examining me he saw that i had a lot of it and said that even if i was super lean for a competition i mean i told him that i am like 20 pounds above stage weight i showed him my stage shots i showed him what i look like when i'm all lean and everything like that and he said it is not going to show through he says when I'm super lean you're not going to see the the implant and the way he is doing it it's not going to be invasive at all it's going to be a really simple easy surgery I'm gonna be able to recover very quickly and be able to get back into the, to the gym very fast um, and also I'm not putting a lot in. I am only doing 160 cc. And I know a lot of people get up to like 300 cc or um, I don't know, 500. I mean, everybody is different. But for me, he's only going to be putting in 160 cc. And that is because I'm going over the muscle. So I think when you go underneath the muscle, you need to put more in there for some reason. But um, so he's going to be putting less in me, which is good. I mean, I was holding them and they're, I mean, they're small. They're like, they're like that big. They're very small. It's light. 
So yeah, right now I would say I'm about an A cup. So I can fill out an A. Um, sometimes I can get into a B, but it's not like I fill them out or anything like that. And by what he says, he is going to put the 160 cc over the muscle and I'm going to have a full C cup. It's going to look very proportional on my body. Um, my boobs are going to match my butt. I'm just going to be very proportional looking. It's not like I'm getting these huge, huge boobs that are going to be like dragging me down, not going to be able to train hard and um, stuff like that. He says I'll be able to wear a triangle top at the beach and not have these like huge things, I don't know, like weighing me down or whatever like that. So, I mean, I agree with him. He's been doing this for a really, really long time. He actually did my mom's boobs and they look great. But yeah, um, right now I'm pretty nervous. I'm just scared kind of for just being under anesthesia and just, um, I don't know, like being put in surgery because I've never been in the surgery room before. So now I just kind of want to go over um, what happens the day before surgery. Um, so today I'm supposed to be drinking a lot, a lot, a lot of water. I'm supposed to be staying hydrated. I'm not supposed to be taking any aspirin or Tylenol or any type of blood thinners. Not supposed to be taking any of that. Um, just taking my multivitamin and drinking lots of water. Um, they gave me a soap to wash myself with tonight and also in the morning, so before surgery, I also need to wash myself again with the soap, but not have my hair wet. I'll just rinse um, down here. And not supposed to be wearing any jewelry, any nail polish, anything like that. No makeup, um, no lotion, just really fresh and clean. And yesterday I got a bra and the bra is supposed to button up in the front. I just went to Walmart and I got like this $10 set. There's two of them and they they literally just like clip up in the front. I'll make sure I show you guys what it looks like. And I have always wanted uh, to get a breast augmentation done ever since I was um, in high school. I've just always had small boobs and also when I'm competing I know that, I mean, my, I don't have that much symmetry. When you have bigger boobs, it makes your waist look smaller. Um, it just, your overall look and your overall appearance looks better. Um, I just, I'm not getting like these huge, huge boobs that are going to like overtake my body or and just not make me look proportional. I'm getting them proportional to my body and my butt and just everything like that. Um, so yeah, next time when I'm on stage, I don't have to like shove my boobs and I lose all my boobs when I'm like pretty much lean. I mean, I have the breast tissue. I mean, I really don't have anything to really, really just like push up and look better. And I didn't forget to tell you, but I am getting a, a silicone implant. So the silicone implant is more um, of a gummy type of feeling to it. I know saline is um, like there's kind of like it's like more watery. So this one, if you cut it in half, it would all stay together. When the saline, if you cut it, all the water would come out. So it is a, a silicone implant um, again going over the muscle. So just right under all of your. Um, all under your breast tissue and um, I don't know underneath your just your breast and these are the two bras that I got at Walmart as you can see they they clip in the front right there so just unclip it like that and there you go and also they're really supportive so they have like a good um, back to it, very supportive. And yep, from Walmart. And it was, I think it was like $10 for both of them, like both of them together, which is nice. So yeah, I'll be living in these for the next week. 
Okay, and I almost forgot. Um, when you are getting a breast augmentation, you're supposed to wear something that buttons down in the front so you don't have to put your, your hands over your head. Um, it's just really easy to slip on and off. So yeah, I'm not supposed to be taking any Tylenol, any blood thinners, or anything like that. I'm supposed to eat or drink anything past 12 o'clock tonight. And then not supposed to eat anything in the morning or not supposed to drink any water or anything like that before my surgery. So yeah, again, I am just super nervous for tomorrow, but I'm just, I'm taking it easy today. I don't know, I might go to the gym and work my upper body one more time, but I don't know, I might just take it easy. I mean, I'm not going to be able to train for so long. Like, it's going to be probably a month or something before I can really start lifting again. So, I might just take it easy. Um, I'm going to try to count my food, too, because I really don't want to be gaining a lot of excess fat. Because I will be laying around a lot. Um, and I'll tell you guys, like, if I do count my food, like, what my macros would be, like, a good number for me. Um, just enough for me to recover and heal and fuel my body, but not at the extent that I've been eating because I've been lifting weights and deadlifting and squatting, and, and that just really takes a lot out of you. But yeah, I'm probably just going to take it easy, and I'm just going to try to vlog as much as I can every day. Um, maybe I'll have my mom hold up the camera for me or something like that, and just... Yeah, I, I really want to get as much footage. I really want to just share the whole process with everyone this in the whole recovery process. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys are going to enjoy this series and get something out of it and learn something. Um, if you have any questions down below, um, please just comment down below and ask me questions, and I'll be happy to answer them. Again, thank you all for watching and yeah see you guys surgery day tomorrow